Hello friends, welcome to the 39th episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous episode, we have seen that how to pass variable from your view.html.php to your layout file like default.php or anything. So uh, we have completed our view section. Uh, from today, I will start the model section in Joomla. So how to create and how to use model in your Joomla 2.5 component. So in model in Joomla there are various type of model uh, around like five four or five types of model in Joomla like uh, J model J model admin J model form J model item and J model item list item list so once so these five models are there so it's uh, very hard to understand that which model you will use in where in which situation you will use which model so the that things uh, I will start slowly slowly I will explain all the model and at the end of the uh, series 2.5 component development series you are able to understand that where you have to use which model you can work with the J model the because this is a base model but if you use uh, the other model which are uh, uh, inherited from the J model they will give you enormous power like uh, you are some inserting some data into database you don't need to write any um, edit query update query or insert query it's automatically uh, done by the model and also if you are getting um, want to list some uh, data from uh, database there are uh, model list uh, item so if we inherit this model we will get um, pagination and everything automatically done so we will start with the J model and we will separate our business logic uh, to the model section so so how to create a model in Joomla so uh, a each component contain multiple model right like our component uh, components com underscore open chat so um, this component can contain multiple model so where we will place all the models like we, uh, in the previous lesson we have seen that we can create multiple views similarly we can create multiple models like at first you need to create a folder models so models inside these models you have to create different different model so uh, in model there is also uh, will be some naming convention like uh, like in in view when we have created the view file we have followed some invention uh, like convention this convention like component class co controller class name view and view name similarly we will follow here also that is this convention so controller class name and then the keyword model and then our model name and the file name will be same as the model name it may be in lower case okay so let's create a model so let's go to the chat history so here you can see a uh, chat history so we can create a model called chat history so what we have to do like in the model create a file chat history dot php now just uh, stop the direct access by defined defined underscore je xcc or die access deny so now um, we have to create the class a model class using this naming convention so let's check out our uh, co controller class name so that is open chat okay so our class name will be open chat now the keyword model now our model name what is the file name chat history so model name chat history but you can use the camel case or word case so chat history and you have to extend the j model 
extends j model uh, later when i will explain different different type of model then we will exp uh, extend different model like j um, model admin j model form etc so uh, for now we will work with only with j models so we have extended the j model now let's remove this convention so where the j model is located so same thing um, in your root libraries joomla application component and model.php here you can see this is our base class and it's abstract that means we cannot create any object from this class what we can do do we can extend our class to this class and then we can create object from our class and um, let's take this um, file uh, you will get a lot of information if you have problem and understanding just uh, send me message or comment I will explain so we have uh, created the model class now let's create some basic function like function get hello let's return hello world ok so now problem is j model so we have to import this j model file so how can I import using j import j import joomla application component dot model ok now save this now we have created our model but we have to use that model in our controller or view so for we have not created our view in the component so what we will do we will display in the controller section at first ok so let's go to the controller let's create a test function so that we can check so function test now echo this is test so let's call this test so task equal to test and we can see this is a test so our controller is working now we have to call load the model and we have to call this method so how can you call a model so let's create an instance model instance so dollar model equal to dollar this get model now we have to pass the name of the model so what is the name that is chat history okay now we have got the model instance now using this instance we can call any method belongs to this model as well as parent class that means from the j model suppose in j model one function is defined abc then also we can call the abc method or function with this object because our model is inheriting from j model ok so let's uh, call this get hello so echo dollar model sorry hello get hello now refresh this page sorry I have made some mistake I think let's uh, copy and paste no everything is ok so let me check what is the error by turning on error reporting error reporting the all ini set display errors true ok 
so here is the uh, fault function j import we forgot about the t mm, we have here here the t is missing so t save and refresh this page so now um, you can see hello world here so we are able to call from the model so um, suppose uh, we have some query like get chat history okay so what is good that this function you will keep in the controller section uh, model section like here okay so we don't have a limit etc not set up in this page so that's why I'm removing all the stuff extra stuff just we will check that the data is coming or not okay so, uh, sorry this will be single code yeah so this is uh, we have created a method in our model get chat history so here let's say um, get items okay now this will return all the chats so now we have separated our business logic and placed our business logic in the model so let's try is it working or not so already uh, in the text function we have created our instance like model so using that instance we can call our function so let's check uh, is working or not so pre and print underscore r dollar model and call this function get items save refresh oh sorry this is not private this will be public public save and refresh this page so here you can see all the data this data is coming from the model side and this is our business logic that is we are fetching some data from the database so we have separated all the functionality in the model and in the controller we are calling um, the instance of the model and from that instance we are calling different functions so in this way it uh, you can create model in Joomla Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions, suggestions, please uh, write your comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.